So what about the type of pro-lifer that says abortion is murder? This is a super interesting type because they might seem like a belief-based moral type, but they're actually a logic type because pretty much no one intuitively believes that abortion is murder. They believe that the fetus is a human life and that taking a human's life is murder. And then they logically conclude that abortion is murder. And honestly, their logic is sound. There's nothing illogical about their thought process. Okay, so I'm going to pause you really quick and um, because it's kind of a longer clip and she goes through a lot here. And what we call this is a syllogism, right? So we have two uh, underlying premises that we know to be true. A fetus, a fetus is a human life, which we know to be true. Or I, I just simplify this because um, I was kind of reading through this a little earlier about the argument against abortion. And some people do not view the fetus as a human life. They, they view it as human but not person and that's a little uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get there right now but for her argument um we can just say a fetus is human right take out the human life part say human right and ending a human like or, or you know getting rid of a human right is murder right and really so if you want to get really technical about this technically that's not true um what you what you'd have to really do to establish this is to first say a fetus is um, or I, it can get, get even more complex than this, I suppose. But yeah, well, I'll, I'll make it a little more simpler, but more complex than what she's saying. So a fetus is um, an innocent human, right? I believe we all can agree with that. It's an innocent human because the fetus is human. It you, there's no other argument, logical argument that I, that I'm willing to entertain, right? Um, that does not hold that the fetus is human, okay? Because with an argument, you can you can entertain your opposition's um, point of view to a certain degree until like, they start, like until they're really starting to push the envelope, right? So like if you're not arguing that the fetus, or, or if you're arguing that the fetus is not human, I, I'm not sure if I can actually you know like, like come on, right? So the fetus is human, right? And it's an innocent human, right? Because they didn't do anything; they're, they're just there. So I'm sure we all can agree that it's innocent. And it's human, right? So now we can go to the next level of this, right? So we have that conclusion from those two premises. So that conclusion now becomes a new premise, right? So, okay, so the fetus is a human life, innocent human life, or hum innocent human. Um, now, the second part of that is uh, innocent humans, if they're killed, is murder, right? So an uh, innocent human being killed is murder right um and then the conclusion from that is killing a fetus is murder because you're killing an innocent life and or see i, I keep going back to life because i i don't see the, the, the distinction personally so my brain keeps reverting back to life because like i cannot look at a human or or i cannot conceptualize a human and then not acknowledge that it's life so i keep going back to that but i'm trying to be like proper and technical here but if you see me doing that as you you keep you know are hearing me do that constantly right now that's why but anyway back to that again fetus is innocent human or human life also murder is killing uh innocent human conclusion is killing fetus is murder right now we're back here um so i, I kind of want to walk to that because that, that's the more technical approach to this um but and she, just, and she rightfully says that that's right logic, because it is right logic. Um, it is a syllogism. Some syllogisms are false. But this one is not a false syllogism, because we justified it by going around. Logic is just very simple, and this is pretty complex stuff. So don't do thought experiments of holding an embryo and a baby. Wait but a second. Talk? The logic is simple, and this is pretty complex stuff, which w with the obvious implication of um, it's simple, therefore there must be something more, or, or like this must be um incomplete or or at worst incorrect just, just because it's simple and easy to understand that it must be wrong i i i feel as if we have the same issue with the whole um gender issue right boys a boy girls a girl it's that simple guys no oh, it must be more complex than that there has to be a spectrum and like we have so many other complicated human dilemmas to solve we don't need to make the simple stuff that undergirds all of it complex, but moving on. They use logic to get here, so we're going to use logic to help them draw a new conclusion. Please don't attack their beliefs. Instead, offer them additional information and facts for them to consider so that they can draw more complex conclusions. Like what? You can talk about bodily autonomy, but I suggest this instead. 
I agree. Human life begins at fertilization. Oh my gosh. How do you... I, I, I have never heard a successful abortion argument that concedes that the fetus is a human life. Because if you concede it's a human life, like she, she conceded that, right, on her own. If you concede that, then you basically have no grounds to kill it. And I can use the word kill confidently now, because before... The word kill is, you know, argued, is it really killing because you know, it's not life? Well, you said it's life, so it's definitely killing now. So, okay, I, I, go on. <laughs> but I think that we can agree that a fetus is in a very special, specific state of life. Kind of like how a person in a coma on life support is a living, breathing person, but is in a very specific state of life. And if the family decides to take that person's life by pulling the plug, we don't, as a society, consider that murder. We consider that a difficult decision. Okay, okay, pause here, right? A couple things. She talks about how different stages in life, basically, again, I'm, I'm trying to like reduce our arguments here, right? Different stages in life, basically, what she's saying, means that the value of life is different at these different stages, right? Now, being in a coma is not a stage in life, right? It's a, it's a specific condition that you may encounter in your life, but it's not a natural stage, right? Because... When we're talking about stages in life, we're talking about natural stages. You have, you know, fetus or, or um, unborn, right? Baby, toddler, child, adolescent, adult, elderly, then death, right? Now, the whole coma example here, the issue I have with it is pulling the plug, as it were, and allowing the person to slip away is different, fundamentally different than saying that... Um, we should actively kill the person in a coma. Because the proper analogy here is taking a dagger, you know, this person in a coma lying on the bed, taking a dagger and just driving it through their brains, right? That is not morally okay. It's not. I think we all can agree with that. Because now you're actively killing, you're actively stopping, you know, a natural process, right? Just like, 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 like abortion is, right? Um, you know, I say, oh, it's not a natural process because like, like they're on the, on, on the machine, right? But it's not natural for a dagger to be driven to someone's head or the, or for them to be actively killed. Again, by me pulling the or, or pulling them off the plug or, to, or, or pulling the plug, right? That is not actively killing them. That is allowing nature to take its course, right? And if their body's in the point where they're going to naturally die without the artificial machine, then, well, they're going to naturally die. But a, a fetus is not going to naturally die, or, or if, if it is going to naturally die, it's a miscarriage, right? But uh, a fetus that would not be miscarried would not just naturally die, and it would not naturally die by an abortion, because that's not natural. And then, as a quick side note here, the whole thing with, with life support, right? You might be like, okay, well then, you know, that's an artificial process. Like, why is that okay? Well, because that, 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 that artificial process... Like all of medicine, you know, pharmaceuticals are not natural, right? Is meant to preserve life. Like all those things are meant to to uphold life, and and that's that's moral because that is the ultimate natural law to uphold life. Because you know it's a law from which all other laws arrive. Because if you're not upholding life, then none, nothing else, none, none of the other natural rights or rights have any value. Because if you're not alive, then none of it matters, right? Um, but that's the difference here because. Abortion is like specifically, it's, it's artificial, but it's specifically purposed in getting rid of life. So let's see, let's see what else she has to say. Decision, And that's why we leave it up to the next of kin family member to make a choice based off of what they think is the most humane thing for that person. In specific states of life like this, where people can't necessarily choose for themselves, we don't let the federal or state government decide. We don't let the doctors decide. We trust that choice to the next of kin family member and we don't consider it murder okay so she didn't really say anything new after that but i have i, I would be so remiss if i didn't look at this first comment here by user two four five nine or four eight seven five zero seven six six seven um and he said that her name says it all and by the way this this um tiktoker is named brenna talks too much i'm sorry i i, I couldn't not i, I couldn't not Again, I said that I, I didn't want to refer to ad hominem, but I'm sorry. That's just waiting for me to use it. I had to use it. Hey, thank you for watching this um, 
I this clip from Culture Watch. This is a new uh, project I'm starting here to address some of the concerns people my age and any age really have with conservatism and my concerns with uh, leftism, liberalism, etc. Um, so um, thank you for watching this clip. If you enjoyed it, please do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, etc. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any thoughts, leave it in the comments.